Well, I'm about to start wet sanding, cutting and buffing. But you can see it's been started already. I actually didn't do it. The owner, he came up here yesterday and said he wanted to do a little something while he was up here. So I had went fishing and left him. And he started sanding with 2,000, which you need to go back over. Well, I'm going to go back over it, the whole entire car. But I guess I saw you back here. What I'm gonna be doing. Let me see if I can pick up this. It's like a sag I got when I had flow coated it. Right here. And I'm gonna show you how to get that out real quick. Which I could use 2000. Let me show you. We're gonna be cutting and buffing with. Most of the time, folks use 1500, 2000, and 3000. But if you can start out with 2,000, it'll be good because you can get them scratches out a lot easier than 1,500. Then you can skip that step. But since I got that run back, now I'm just going to use 2,000. We're going to cut it out with that. I got my piece. Let me get a fresh piece because he used this one. I got it wrapped around my rigid block. You want to make sure you do it with a block. You don't want to do it with your bare hands because you'll leave your hand marks in it but I'm just gonna go right over it and like I said we're gonna skip the 1500 sanding that'll be less work we gotta do because we should be able to cut this real easy with 2000 after I flow coated it and I don't have no runs I just have this sag from here along, along this back section here but you can't really tell but I'm just gonna lightly go over it and then I'm gonna let it dry then you should be able to tell a lot more let's let this dry and see what we got now we can see it a lot better where that sag was is along here and you can see the orange peel how oh, that's got to come down a lot further so let's bring it down some more. I somewhat got this back taken care of. Sip up here. Gotta bring it down some. This part back here. But I switched it up. I had used 1500 because of this uh, sag. It cut a lot faster than that 2000. But I'll go back over with 2,000 to get them 1,500 scratches out. Also, I want to show you, I had a little, some, some reaction here. I didn't wipe this area down before I flow coated, and it left some fish ass. I'm going to show you how to get that out. It's the same way, but let me take you through the process. Let's see if I can pick up this, these imperfections, the fish eyes. Okay, you can see the fish eyes now. It's just little cradles below the clear. So I need to bring it down 
even out with these cradles. It's going to take a little bit more sanding. Now we finna focus on some orange peel and trash. Let's hit this with the 1500. Lightly hit it again. Now we can see where we sanded. it. We can see the orange peel a lot better compared to where it still gloss at. Just gotta bring that down a little bit more. This area here with some trash. This is what it needs to look like. This middle section. I still gotta bring this out of edge down. With this middle section. Where everything dug off. That's what it need to look like. So I guess I just go ahead and run with 1500 around the whole car. Since I done started on it. Then after the 1500, I go back with 2000 and so on. finished blocking it with the 1500 still got this section of the hood and half of the trunk and I have to go back over this door here some air still gloves need to come down and I got this section of the dick lid so let me take care of that then we'll move on to the 2000. Finished up with the 1500 all the way around. I also wiped the car down and I got some fresh water because you want to keep fresh water. You might have some grit in it, then you start sanding that grit up under the sandpaper and scratch it up. So you want to make sure you keep some fresh water. So we got these 1500 scratches, so we need to get these scratches out before we start buffing because it'll take a lot longer trying to buff them 1500 scratches than something like 2000 or 3000. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use 2000 to get the 1500 scratches out. I'm going to either use a sheet of this here or just wrap one of these around it. 
It's just going to be the same process as we did the 1500. All right, I got the 2000 done. Now it's time to move to the next step. Let's get these 2000 scratches out. And I'm just going to use some for the DA. Just wrap it around the block. Put a couple of pieces in there. And put both of my blocks in. This 3000, it's going to go a lot faster than the rest of it. the 1500. It take longer because you're actually trying to flatten it out, getting the orange peel out. 2000 goes a little faster, but the 3000, you're just really getting the 2000 scratches out. And it's going to really turn kind of shinier than what it is now when you hit it with the 3000. Let's go ahead and get started. Just finished up with all the sanding. Now I wipe this down with some clean water. Then I move to the buffing stage. This side over here ain't dry yet. Just finished this side up. Wipe down, ready for the buffing now. Finished up with the cutting stages. I'm going to be using this wool pad and some Maguire's Diamond Cut Compound 2.0. It's real affordable. I'll be using my rotary, Harbor Freight rotary. And this is some um, panel prep. It's just alcohol and water mixture. I'm just going to pour. I got some in here now. But I'm going to pour some more diamond cut compound. It's not three of them. I'm just going to pour it in here so I can. It'll be easy to put it on with this little bottle here. Instead of toting around it. We're going to work in this section here. We're going to start out with about 1500 RPMs. Put a little bit here. Wipe it on with the pad. So it won't start shooting anywhere when I cut it on.
let's get our panel prep. Spray it off and wipe it down. See what we got. Finish the compound. First step. Now you see all this residue from the compound. We need to get that up before we move on. And we'll just take our panel prep and clean all that up. Got that taken care of. The reason why you want to remove that residue from the compound because it'll be just like you're still compounding. Then we finna move to step two. I got three different brands. I got Rupes, 3M, and Meguiar's. I don't got much of Meguiar's, so I probably just use this Rupes. I don't see much difference in either brand. I'll uh, get the job done. But we gotta change pads. We gotta remove this wool pad, and we're gonna put this foam pad on it. Let me do that. It's going to be the exact same process as the compound. But it's it's going to go a lot faster than the compound because you pretty much got all the scratches out. You're just trying to buff it to a shine.
finished up with the polish now it's time to move to step three that's going to be the ultra finishing polish we're going to be applying it with a waffle pad first we got to wipe it down with our panel prep same way we did the last stage
Right from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we never stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we never stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we never stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the ground up, we never stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from